Judas, is one of the best known figures of Christianism. He, has always been perceived, as the embodiment of evil. The man, who betrayed his master, his best friend, to get a personal advantage. But the story of Judas reported by the Gospel, might have a further, hidden meaning, that will be revealed only to the owners of the secret access key. A key, that is written in the stars. The first step, along the path to unveil the secret held by the Gospel, is examining the particular relationship, between Jesus, and his most intimate followers. The Twelve Apostles. The term Apostles, generally translated, envoy, literally means, those, who are in charge of a remote position. From the Greek apo, distant, and stello, I place, I order. Jesus, personally chooses the Apostles. These men will become his most loyal followers and the recipients of his most important teachings. They, will be admitted to know the mysteries of the kingdom, which have been hidden in the folds of reality. So that men, though seeing, they do not see, though hearing, they do not hear, or understand. In return, they are requested to apply rules of difficult application, Whoever wants to be first, must take last place, and be the servant of everyone else. This particular teaching, retains its validity, also when applied to the astrological correspondent of the Apostles, the Twelve Zodiacal Signs. The ancient references for the subdivision of the solar year, and of the processional cycle. As a result of the precessional rotation, the vernal point, that is, the sun position at the spring equinox, moves along the ecliptic, crossing all the zodiacal signs, thus giving life to the sequence of the astrological ages. The zodiacal constellations are solar apostles, the custodians of the ecliptic, able to preserve the path of the sun, even when it is at the antipodes of the sky. The motion of the star, determines their election from constellations to signs, and from signs to astrological ages. In this sense, they are the sun's most intimate followers. For many millennia, the current astrological age sign, played the role of the first sign of the zodiac. In the third millennium BC, age of Taurus, the Babylonian zodiac began with Taurus, and ended with Aries. In Greece, about a thousand years later, Aries, which closed the zodiac during the age of Taurus, became the first sign, giving birth to the homonymous era. The twelve signs, are therefore the first witnesses to the validity of the law. Whoever wants to be first, must take last place, and be the servant of everyone else. With the beginning of the age of Pisces, the millenary tradition of rotating the zodiac was not respected, and the Aries maintained the title of the first sign, taking it from the legitimate holder. In apparent contradiction with the explicit prohibition of Jesus, it has always been possible to identify the first of the twelve, even among the apostles. The Gospel itself, suggests that the title belongs to Simon, also known as Peter. Peter is in fact appointed first, in the three different lists of the Apostles, respectively reported in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke. The three lists also have the common characteristic of last mentioning Judas Iscariot. In their zodiacal transposition, the lists, earn back their original circularity, revealing that Peter and Judas are actually neighbors, they are two adjacent zodiacal signs. Peter, first of the Apostles, fisherman chosen to become a fisher of men, corresponds to the sign of Pisces, the legitimate first zodiacal sign for the current era. A great genius from the past, might have reached the same conclusions. 
In the famous fresco, The Last Supper, Leonardo develops the zodiac linearly. The original geometry, is obtained by extracting the figures from the two-dimensional painting, and closing the two table ends in a ring around Jesus, the Son. The apostles, divided into groups of three, represent the four zodiacal quadrants, centered on the cardinal signs, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius and Scorpio. Judas, recognizable by the bag of money in his hands, holds the central position between two fellows. He is therefore a cardinal sign. But the correlation between the apostles and the zodiacal signs, is encoded into the disposition of the dishes on the table. All dishes are in fact empty, with the exception of only two serving dishes. The dish in front of Peter, containing fishes, reveals that the apostle is the sign of Pisces. The other plate, containing bread slices, is placed in front of the apostle, sitting six positions away from Peter. Bread, as well as the distance of six signs from Pisces, are both references to the Virgo, whose ancient Hebrew name, Bethlehem, like the birthplace of Jesus, means house of bread. As a further element, Leonardo portrays Peter in a decidedly unusual position, which resembles the constellation of Pisces. The direct consequence, is that Judas, represents the sign, and above all, the age, of the Aquarius. The Gospels, inform us that Jesus was perfectly aware of the processional mechanism. Together with the wonderful records, of his teachings, miracles and revolutionary gestures, the sacred text, records his indications for entering the new age. A man carrying a jar of water will meet you, follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters, the teacher asks, where is my guest room? where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. The man with the jar of water, the Aquarius, is approaching. And all of us are preparing to enter his astrological house. Nevertheless, the divine plan is not always linear, and maybe, this time, it's preparing an upsetting surprise. <laughs>